horses on New Year's Eve, walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were. Here's my new 50 amp RV electrical outlet. Let's take a look at how I did it. For my installation, I'm using a PVC electrical conduit. And you can see here's my distribution panel. I will be installing another breaker in here, which will connect to the RV power outlet. Um, here's my conduit coming through the bottom here. The conduit goes uh, down through the house and out the front. I'll show you where it comes out. Now, when I built, when I did the foundation about 15 years ago, I put a uh, conduit underneath the driveway because I had all this all torn up, just in case I ever needed it. And sure enough, I need it. So this is uh, Schedule 40 underneath the ground, and then where it comes above ground, at least where I live, you have to use Schedule 80, which is thicker stuff. So this is Schedule 80. Um, I ran the conduit underneath the house through the sea of spider webs, and uh, when I needed to make a right angle turn, I used a fitting similar to this one here. You can see that it's got a, it has this with a rubber seal that goes, so this allows you to run the wires through there and then put the, the cover over it later. And this is my fish tape. This is a 65 foot metal fish tape. I uh, push that through so the conduit goes underneath the driveway. It comes out over here. This is where my uh, box is going to go on there. I'm going to have a 2x6 pressure treated post coming up. going to be buried in here to hold that guy. You can see my fish tape is coming out the other end here. And I just push that fish tape through the conduit. Comes out the other end. And then I can tape my wire onto here. I'm using this stuff. This is lubricant made for this purpose. This really helps out a lot if you got to do this. So I'm going to put the lubricant through there and that helps grease the wires so they'll slip through easily. And what you do is uh, I'm going to tape the wire to the end of the fish tape and put some of this lubricant in there and then start pulling it through. Okay, so here it is all taped up. You really want to give it a good grip because uh, if it gets tight in there it's going to want to come apart. Then you got to start all over again. I'm going to pour some of this stuff down in there, liberally. And let's see how this works. I'm going to just start feeding it down through here as much as I can from this end. Can't use too much of this stuff. At some point it's going to get harder and harder to push this and I'm going to start pulling from the other end.
to get this all tangled up here. Yeah, the wire was starting to get all tangled up, so I strung it out down the driveway here. 100 feet of wire. Success. Well, I'd say that calls for a celebration, eh? Good thing I live in Oregon.